County, former Regent candidate Robert Prokop has filed a formal complaint against Regent Jim McClurg, stemming from November's District 5 race. Last year, the state Supreme Court impeached and removed University of Nebraska Regent David Hergert from office for violating campaign finance laws. And in a News 5 exclusive, Prokop makes similar accusations against McClurg. Despite beating him in the May primary by nearly 300 votes, Robert Prokop lost to Jim McClurg by more than 12,000 votes in the general election. They're supposed to have the uh, Accountability and Disclosure Commission ha hold a fair uh, election, and obviously this has not been the case. We spent a lot of time and energy and effort making sure that we understood the law and followed it very closely. After the primary, as is required by law, McClurg filed paperwork indicating he would spend $125,000 in the general election. Once 40% of that, or $50,000, is spent, it would have triggered public funds to be used by his opponent, Prokop. That's the reason for the statutes, uh, basically to equalize out elections like this. Prokop claims documents show McClurg exceeded the 50000 mark on October 23rd which would have given him public funds by October 30th. Funds Prokop says he needed to win the election. I couldn't spend any more money, and uh, uh, the opposition uh, had uh, dropped sixty-five to $70,000 in the last uh, two weeks, particularly the last week. According to campaign affidavits obtained by News 5, McClurg exceeded $50,000 on October 30th, giving Prokop access to public funds on November 6th, one day before the election. At that time, Prokop turned down the funds, saying it was too late to help him win. The money would not have been any value at all. But Prokop argues the wording of the campaign public funding law is not clear. It's really hard to determine their rules because they don't have them out, uh, very, uh, very specifically done. By his interpretation, once McClurg's spending exceeded $50,000 for the primary and general elections combined, the public funds should have been triggered. Campaign affidavits show that would have happened on or before October 23rd, giving Prokop about $100,000 in public funds at least a week before the election. Well, I think it would have made all the difference in the world because then you could have spent dollar for dollar. And when you're not, uh, when you're tied up with your hands uh, with regard to uh, funding, uh, there's not much you can do. Prokop says this is a misreporting of campaign finances similar to the David Hergert case, and now he wants the same type of investigation. The records are pretty loud and clear that uh, there was more than $50,000 spent. Regent McClurg claims no wrongdoing in his campaign and says they were especially mindful of the finance laws since this election came just months after the state Supreme Court removed Regent Hergert from office for violating campaign finance laws. We needed to be extra careful to understand and follow the law uh, with every one of our steps to make sure all of our filings were complete. And McClurg says if there were any errors in his campaign's reporting, it would have been caught by now. We have a very good accountability disclosure office here in Nebraska, and uh, that's what they're for, is to make sure things are enforced. But Prokop says it's an issue needing well, to be looked into, which is why he's filing a formal complaint. It's important if we are going to have uh, these particular types of laws that we not make a travesty of them. And we did speak off camera with officials from the Office of Accountability and Disclosures. They chose not to comment on camera but did say now that a formal complaint has been filed, an investigation into the matter will begin very soon and the likely first step is an internal audit of campaign finance.